Uh, thank you so much, Brad. I'm never late. Not cool. <laughs> well, not cool. Uh, guys, thank you so much. I see the fans over there. Yeah. 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 Um, guys, thank you so much for coming out. This is this is so it's so humbling and and so moving and so touching and it's such a it's such a cool thing for for this in my life. I um, I was sharing the story earlier with. Uh, with my family, I had to take a minute, about an hour and a half ago, kicked everybody out of the room and just had to have a minute with myself and just remind myself of how special and unique this is. Um, you know, when I, I was eight years old, quick story, I, I, uh, I saw Raiders of the Lost Ark and it was, um, it was sold out that weekend. I was eight years old living in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's where me and my, my mom and dad were living. I watched the movie like this uh, I walked out of that movie so incredibly inspired. I loved Raiders, loved the movie. I was such a big fan, by the way. It was like Empire Strikes Back, Raiders of the Lost Ark, that whole time. And I knew I wanted to be that guy. I knew I wanted to be that guy. I wanted to be the guy who was charming with the ladies, who I thought was cool, um, pretty tough guy, but doing it with a smile. And. And the one thing I felt like I could do at that time was, oh, I, I need to be, I need to be physical. So I had my mom take me to the store. She bought me some boxing gloves because that's what I had to do. I felt like he was a tough guy. He had to fight. She bought me these little boxing shorts too. I was eight years old. I made a whip at home, like Indy. True story. <laughs> like out a stick and and a, and a string, running around the house. Da 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 da. da, da, da. Oh my God, so true. <laughs> Uh, then years later, and of course at eight years old, I, I was then more interested in then just playing with my Star Wars action figures, listening to Richard Pryor tapes, which I had no idea, I had no business listening to. Um, but then, so the, the point of that story was just how symbolic today is. Not only are we here in Hollywood, it's iconic. This is the, it's the most famous theater in the world, immortalizing your hands. But symbolically what it means about, about hard work. And so even at eight years old, um, I thought, oh, well, I, can, I can do this. I can control my life I, with, with my hands. And when I was about 14 years old, uh, hard times befell us. Me and my family was tough. My dad was working hard. My mom was working hard. It was hard for us to pay the rent. We, were, uh, we, we lived in a small efficiency in Honolulu, Hawaii for 180 bucks a week. And you know, you're living pretty good when you're paying by the week, right? <laughs> so, at that time, we, there was, uh, we'd been evicted and there was some um, car repossessions. And, but even at that time, I thought, well, the one thing I know how to do is, um, is go work with my hands. So, that's what I did. At 14, I started going to the boys club and getting into sports and anything I could do to hopefully change my life at that time with, with my hands. And... So now, years later, here we are, we're all here, and my hands are getting ready to be immortalized. My big ass feet are getting ready to be immortalized. <laughs> and, um, and I'm so proud of this moment. I'm so proud, I'm so grateful, because not only does it symbolize hard work, uh, but the biggest reason why I'm proud is um, it symbolizes the people I have around me supporting me and my hard work because they work just as hard, if not harder. And they're all here. My amazing family is here. Hold on. I can't even look that way, right? It's like, oh. Okay. Uh, my amazing family is here, um, my incredible team, they're all here, um, and the reason why I'm so proud is because, uh, like Toby said, 40, 50, 60 years from now, when we're wrapping it all up and you're looking at the hands, my hands in the ground, um, I'm so proud because everyone here uh, gets to be a part of that, and I would not be here 
if it weren't for them. Again, my incredible team, and they're all here, they look amazing. Uh, all from different studios, by the way, which is really cool, by the way. Thank you, guys. Um, and it makes me so incredibly grateful. My family, my, my team of agents and, and attorneys who make everything happen, publicists, uh, uh, who I consider my family, and, and you, the fans, who I consider my extended family. And, you know, on social media or when we're doing events like this or I see you guys out here in L.A., wherever, New York, around the world, we're not shy. I'll bring my phone right over there. We're getting selfies okay. and videos. Yeah. And, and, I, and I appreciate that. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the love. So, uh, guys, I just want to thank you. I thank all of you for all the support over the years and all your incredibly hard work, the beautiful things that that Toby and Brad had said, thank you guys so much. And to wrap this thing up, um, to give you an idea of just how cool it is and how much this means to me, I'm like a kid, right? So that eight-year-old kid who loved Raiders of the Lost Ark, who loved um, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. I think in 1984, George Lucas and Steven Spielberg had their hands immortalized at the same time. And a couple of weeks ago, I received the greatest gift I could have ever received out of the blue. And this man who has inspired me over the years, inspired movie making, and, um, and created characters that I love, uh, that were quality characters, entertaining, and ultimately had heart. Um, this man told me, uh, you know, you're going for it. You just keep going for it. And Steven Spielberg, I want to thank you for this. It means the world to me. So to Steven, to my family, I love you, to my, my extended family uh, who are all here, fans, cheers to always going for it, and cheers to always putting in the hard work with your hands. Thank you guys. Somebody's got a sign that says, Bucket Lister still waiting for tequila shot with Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> you don't gotta wait that long, honey. Here we go. Okay, here we go. This one's wild. Thank <laughs> you.